Hello and welcome to my channel, Vice Rhino here. Today I've decided to pick on some low hanging fruit, and it really doesn't hang any lower than this guy, so let's go. Peace be unto you. We all know God represents morality. No, we don't know that God represents morality. We know that the character of God, as portrayed in the Bible, tries to enforce an atrocious moral code on people. But that does not represent all of morality. That represents God's morality, assuming God even exists in the first place. If he doesn't exist, then that just means it represents the tribe that wrote that book's morality. That's it, nothing more. Also, I just wanted to say you are looking absolutely fabulous in that shirt and adorned with all that delightful jewelry. What are you up to after the video? What do you mean I'm too old for you? That's why atheists don't believe in him. Right, and the complete lack of any evidence outside of personal experience and an ancient text have nothing to do with it. They have no morals. Atheists have morals. Maybe not the same morals as you, but they do have them. And this is a problem because we expect them to be good. So they pretend to have morals. They even try to behave as if they have morals. But it's all an act. How could it possibly all be an act? I mean, even if someone believed they could, oh, I don't know, rape any unmarried woman they wanted as a way to get a discount when paying for her to be your bride, I would say that's morally wrong. But I would also say that the person doing it thinks that it's morally right. So they have morals, but different ones from me, and ones that society has deemed to be unacceptable and punishable if acted upon. There is no morality without God. Can you please demonstrate the truth of that assertion? Even just a little? If God created life, then life has a purpose. When we say something is wrong, we mean it's the wrong way to accomplish our purpose. If your purpose is to do everything God has laid out in his ancient and horribly flawed book, then that's on you, man. When I say something is morally wrong, what I mean is that it goes against my moral code, most aspects of which I have actually put a lot of thought into. On the other hand, if life just randomly came into existence, then life has no purpose. Or, you know, we're free to choose our own purpose, which sounds a hell of a lot better than being slaves to the morally repugnant character of God found in the Bible. Without purpose, nothing is right or wrong. Since atheists don't believe life has a purpose, they just do whatever gives them pleasure. Well, as I stated, we're all free to choose our own purpose. So if someone chooses to make their purpose a continuing pleasure pursuit, that's on them. As long as they don't hurt anyone else in the process, by all means, have some fun. I don't really see a problem with that. Some atheists get their pleasure from killing innocent people. And those ones usually end up in jail, because we as a society have decided that killing people is wrong, except in a few well-defined circumstances. Self-defense, for example. Others get their pleasure by pretending to be good. Is it really so hard for you to believe that someone could be a nice person without believing in your genocidal maniac of a god? Do you really need someone to threaten you with eternal torture in order for you to behave? If you do, then who's the really the good person? The one who is only good because they want to not be tortured? Or the one who is good believing that there is no assured reward for goodness? It's just the right thing to do. But whenever you see an atheist pretending to be good, remember that he has selfish motives for his actions. This is what makes atheists evil. All their actions are selfish. So your definition of an evil person here seems to be that all your actions have a selfish motive. That's what makes you evil. So if all your actions having a selfish motive is what makes you evil, then wouldn't it be the religious people who are evil? I mean, it's you guys who act good just because you think there's going to be a reward for it after death, and because you think there will be punishment for any misbehaving. Is that not the ultimate in selfish motives? Atheists are attacking religion because they're at war with our morals and they have been poisoning our communities for a long time. They are the reason we need to lock our doors. They don't think stealing is wrong. Oh, really? Then why is the vast majority of the prison population in the United States Christian? 
You'd think that if atheists were the main reason people had to lock their doors at night, they would be disproportionately represented in prison. But the percentage of atheists in prison is even smaller than the percentage who walk free, suggesting that it's the Christians that are the reason we lock our doors at night. These days, children go to their schools and gun down their classmates. Ask the older generations. It wasn't always like this. Now that's a low blow, and it has nothing to do with atheism. Most of those cases are more about the mental health of the person doing the shooting, and have nothing to do with religion whatsoever. I always know when someone is an atheist. All I need to do is observe their behaviors. I would love to see a demonstration of these magical atheist-detecting powers of yours. They lack empathy. They live purposeless lives. Well, if anything, my life has actually been crippled by the fact that I have too much empathy. As for my purpose, that's really none of your goddamn business. And they often come across as being fake and superficial. I've known plenty of fake and superficial Christians. That has nothing to do with religion. That's a human trait. I know they are atheists, even if they don't reveal their beliefs to me. Sometimes I will engage them in conversation, and I have been correct about them every time. Correct about them actually calling themselves atheist, or correct in that they weren't a member of your particular religion, or your particular denomination of your particular religion, and so you automatically gave them the label atheist. Either way, I suspect you're lying, but I think the second is more likely. You may also notice that you feel uncomfortable around them, like there is some darkness around them. Atheists have no light. Jesus Christ exposed the evil of atheism during his ministry. That's why atheists wanted to kill him. Not sure if you remember this part of the Bible, but it was actually the Jews that wanted to kill him, not the atheists. I don't recall atheism ever having a high priest. In ancient times, they had problems with atheists, just like we do today. These demons were very sneaky, and they wanted to blend in with the good people. For example, they would give to charity just so people would admire them. I give to charity, and I don't discuss it with anyone except my wife. That's also none of your goddamn business. And it's not like big open collection plate where everyone can see what you put in it doesn't encourage good giving just to look good. I wonder how much church income would drop if they scrapped the collection plate in favor of a more anonymous method like an email money transfer. That's from Matthew chapter 6 verse 2. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear their deeds will be exposed. John chapter 3 verse 20 This makes perfect sense if you think about it. God is offering eternal life to anyone willing to be a good person. Oh, so you're one of those Christians who believes in salvation by works rather than by faith. That's uh, your rare breed right there. If atheists were good, they would step forward to receive eternal life. Well, I'm certainly not the spokesman for all atheists, but I think it's safe to say that for most of us, you would first have to demonstrate that eternal life is actually attainable. Otherwise, I'm not wasting my time. Of course, as Christians, we love everyone, including atheists. Yeah, we love you so much, you dirty, filthy, evil scumbags! Our Father wants us to reach out to them. People can change, and giving someone the gift of eternal life is a truly profound gift. They are very confused, so we need to help them understand the truth. Therefore, let us declare our desire to live God's path of light by saying the prayer of acceptance. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? This video is supposed to convert me? You're a dirty, evil sack of filth! Want to join my cult? Anyway, that's it for this guy. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can also follow me on Twitter and Minds. See you next time!